always amused that some days when I do quotes of certain people, people will write in and say, who is this? Uh, I guess you have to be my age to understand some of these names. This was a movie actress that was very big, very big in the uh, 30s and 40s and 50s. Her name was Loretta Young. Uh, she even had a television show in the 50s. It was a ruthless business that she was in. And many times there would be uh, other actresses and uh, actors that would seemingly get better breaks than Loretta got. And she said this after a while of uh, a period of time where she lived in, as she described, envy. She said, never indulge in jealousy or envy. Those two destructive emotions will eat you alive. In 1 Peter 2, verses 1 and 2, it says, Laying aside all malice, all deceit, hypocrisy, envy, and all evil speaking, as newborn babes desire the pure milk of the word, that you may grow thereby. Because we are sometimes weak as human beings, one of our weaknesses is being envious of others. But God's word continually warns us against envy. So if we're wise, we will guard ourselves against the natural tendency to feel a twinge of resentment or jealousy when other people experience good fortune. <clears throat> I pray that you will get to the point of an attitude of praising God for them when that happens. You'll also, when you do that, attract good in a different way to you. Now, have you ever felt the pangs of envy when a friend or a family member was a recipient of some good thing or experience? Have you ever felt resentful when others received recognition or earned advancement that you thought you should have gotten? If so, here is a simple suggestion that's guaranteed to improve your attitude and lift your spirits and fill your hearts with God's love, God's promises that you will receive your own good that will come to you in your time. You will discover over time with the wisdom of time itself that there is no room left for envy, resentment, or regret. You'll find a great new peace in your life. You'll find that you have traveled a path that, thank God, you've traveled. And that you didn't have someone else's path. You had your own with God-given special blessings, custom blessings just for you. I pray that you have that kind of path, and I pray that you'll have so much good happen in your life that I can look to your life and praise God for it. God bless you.